Hi, I'm Pam East, and today I'd like to show you how to anneal wire in an ultralight kiln. You may already have one of these devices. They're great for firing silver clay, for doing kembu, for doing enameling, but you can also anneal wire. Let me show you how. Another good use for an ultralight kiln is annealing wire. It's really great. Um, it's very convenient. I have my ultralight here. It's on a tile. It's on the heat mat. Um, and that heat mat is free of dust. And um, I've got the lid on and I have been preheating this for 45 minutes. You always want to preheat with the lid on for 45 minutes. Now when I start annealing, I'm going to take the wire off. So if you're new to metalworking, annealing means we're going to soften the metal to make it more workable. When you first get these metals, they're very stiff and springy, and it can be very difficult to bend them into the shapes you want. This is especially true of like cloisonné wire. When you're doing cloisonné, you want to be able to bend very precise little shapes, and if it's springing back, it's not going to hold the shape that you want. So I have here bronze, copper, Fine silver and sterling silver, all of these metals can be annealed with the ultralight. I'll start by just taking the lid off. And I'm going to go ahead and start with this bronze and drop it on there. And I, you, what you're going to see is it's going to get dark and turn black. And that's normal. Base metals, the sterling, the copper, the bronze, they're all going to get this um, fire scale on them. That's a normal part of annealing wire or annealing metals. Uh, I'll let it sit there for about, I don't know, a minute or two. I could probably get another piece on there. I'm going to go ahead and put the sterling on too. And just like the bronze, you're going to watch it. It'll first kind of go a gold color and then it'll go dark black. Um, no avoiding that. Would be nice if they weren't. But you can put these in, uh, the silver you can put into a pickle or you can just sand off the, uh, the fire scale, and then it'll be nice and soft and ready to use. Let's see, how's that doing? I'm kind of waiting for it to be glowing just a little bit. Um, the thicker the wire, the longer it's going to take. So my sterling is a finer gauge than my, um, than my bronze, but I think it's getting there. It looks like it's glowing inside of it just a little bit. The bronze is a, uh, can take a higher heat, so if you're having trouble annealing bronze, in the ultralight, try annealing it with the lid on. Um, I've done that very successfully. Some other metals, like fine silver, can start to melt if you have the lid on. Um, so make sure you have the lid off for, for fine silver. Um, but for bronze and copper, I had very good success uh, with the lid off. Those are higher melt. Uh, all right, so let's see how we're doing here. We're gonna go ahead and quench it. And while that's Continuing, I'm going to go ahead and drop in this copper and this fine silver. Look at that. The fine silver just relaxed right into it. Like, like the fine silver, it's so thin that it anneals almost instantly. Um, I, hope, um, I hope that showed up well, but it just relaxed, and that tells me that it's annealed. But I'm going to go ahead and look at this bronze. Um, and now look how it's no longer... Um, springy. When I bend it, it just stays where I bend it, and that's what I want when I want to be forming metal. Um, and I can then take some some sandpaper, and I can I can clean off that fire scale and polish it up. But now I have a bronze wire that's annealed. It's not difficult to bend anymore. Um, that cloisonné wire is for sure done. It was done practically the minute I put it in there. Um, so now, instead of being all springy, it's just absolutely staying where I bend it. Really important for cloisonné work. I did try this on gold cloisonné wire as well, and it worked great on the gold cloisonné wire. Here's the, that piece of sterling that we put in there. Sterling can be put in pickle to clean it off. And again, it is now very easy to bend, very buttery, and able to stay in whatever shape I put it in. And it may not look like sterling at this point because it's black, but I promise you it is. Um, let me see if I can sand it off so you can see the silver. It's silver. 
And then this is that last piece. This is that copper uh, cloisonne wire. And most of the, the fire scale came off when I quenched it. Cleaned up real well. And again, very soft and buttery. And you can clean that up and it's ready to use. So that is all there is to annealing wire in the ultralight.